I love, I got into comics because I love the fact that it's both personal and anonymous, which is why I think I'm drawn to the medium. And maybe it's because I started out doing zines and doing stuff through the mail, and it was long before the internet. I'd love it if people didn't know what sex I was, how old I am, and it's like me personally as a person is not important to the work. And I love it that people can bet, but also with comics that it's a one-on-one communication. It's not like people sitting in a movie theater all viewing the movie at the same time. It's one person quietly, and they're looking at exactly what I drew. They're like what the marks that I made with my hand are what they're looking at, so it's a one-to-one communication. My comics have always been about kind of like philosophical searching the nature of reality or the nature of what life is. Uh, it started off just being a project where I was just doing a series of drawings. I had been playing in a band and not really doing uh, that much comics work. And I was like, well, if I just do one image at a time, it'll all pile up into something. And I kind of just had this idea of it being a... Yeah, like a cartoon utopia. It was kind of like a science fiction story and these kind of like what-if ideas. And then I just started going to some lectures that my friend was giving and I started to become interested in a lot of kind of like the whole consciousness. Uh, I don't even know what to call it exactly, but the kind of uh, new agey consciousness movement. Some of the stuff I knew with the Cartoon Utopia, I'm just taking, lifting stuff directly from books and presenting it. And with this story, I kind of brought together, it's kind of my take on a few different things that, that I experienced, and I kind of put it all together myself. I'm also trying to take ideas that are like flowery and really kind of long-winded, and I'm really trying to, using comics to distill them, like, I kind of think of like each panel as being like a bumper sticker. Like I'm coming to all of this with a really unique perspective because I talk to a lot of people who say what you said that they're like completely recoil from it and they're really disgusted by it and I'm like I didn't discover Robert Crumb till I was you know in my mid twenties. I'm Catholic. I went to Catholic school. I don't know anything about, there are no hippies in my high school, so I don't really have any of that kind of revulsion. And I've, I've, I've started to realize recently that a lot of the way that I'm attracted to a lot of, especially that the alchemy aspect of it and the kind of ancient teachings of it, probably has to do with the fact that I was raised Catholic and went to Catholic school. And the Catholic Mass is full of all this crazy thing, the little piece of cardboard that goes underneath the cloth that has this word in Latin stitched on it and all of that, like, say whatever you want about Catholicism and everything, and I think, you know, it's like historically and even in the present, it's this really tyrannical, terrible thing, but to me, it's kind of reminds me of home and brings comfort to me.